fashion for me is about taking risks, wearing what you want to wear regardless of what people think, whether it be a red hat, a crazy shoe, or an unexpected injection of fur fabulous that really catches your eye. Well, this guy certainly caught mine when I was on Crown Street. Check it out. I'm Mike Antonio and I'm a fashion designer. Well, I'm wearing this dip dyed fur gillet. I kind of was, I'm generally against fur, but if it's a byproduct, then that's fine. I mean, I'm not gonna wanna get anyone to just go out there and kill it just for the first sake and then just dump the carcass. So, um, it was a one off investment that I made for Christmas, so I thought I may as well. I wasn't quite sure whether or not it was appropriate for. Um, Sydney summer, but oh, who cares? <laughs> no one does. <laughs> oh, and I'm wearing um, Karen Walker Sunny's um, vintage shorts, actually. So I found them at a vintage store in um, ASOS boot. Fashion means uh, you get to express yourself. As you, you can go as nuts as you can. You can go as tame as you can. No one really cares. I sure as hell don't. I mean, I'm not exactly the straightest looking chip off the block, but I go nuts anyway. So you know. Fashion, you just take something off the rack and you wear it, right? Style, you tweak it to make it yours. I mean, you can probably count the number of people that have genuine style. You know, as opposed to clearly being styled by somebody else because they've just taken something from the rack and put it on a beautiful coat hanger side. You know, so it's, it's kind of, it's fine line. You kind of have to have a keen eye for it. Ooh, anything and everything, international style. I mean, Australian style is so laid back. I think it's, it's got its great aspects to it, but I think it's a little bit too laid back for my personal taste. So I tend to look for overseas for inspiration. I mean, anything from, I follow bloggers religiously. I follow, um, you know, Susie Bubble, Dean Tabby, I follow her, Brian Boy, I love Brian Boy. And I think there's plenty of room for Australian bloggers to up and emerge because we don't really have anyone at the moment that's kind of making a mark out there. It's very true. Mm. I really like Fashion Toast as well, Rumi Neely. Yes, Rumi Neely. They're like that with Brian Boy at the moment, aren't they? Toast. <laughs> 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 the BFFs. Faux pas. I, I think if, as long as it looks good, it doesn't have, it doesn't necessarily have to match. It just has to look good is my thing. I mean, I don't really go by a guidebook and wear whatever you feel like. I mean, you know, I'm wearing a, dip dyed gillet in the middle of summer, <laughs> so who cares? Just so long as it looks good and you feel fabulous, there's no faux pas. It's faux fabulous, I'd like to think. <laughs> I mean, it's high-end meets um, DDS, discount department store. So, you know, it's, it's anything from Lanvan to ASOS to a bit of vintage, a bit of Target. You know, so whatever looks good. Well, you got to look good because you, you, it's part of what I do. So you kind of, you know, you have to, I'd like to think I'd like to keep myself one step ahead, you know, so I don't really want to have to look like I belong <laughs> necessarily. And um, I do tend to get talks and what have you, but that's individuality really is and it's part of this personal style so you just can't I march my own trumpet. I look ridiculous at times but fuck I look good and I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> no.